uh, in fusion uh, this is a logical group of reference data that can be accessed by various transactional entities so so if you want to if, if there's an asset book it can be shared uh, there, there can be some data which can be shared across um, transacting entities we'll, we'll see that later so a fusion application provides uh, uh, two default reference data sets one is common the other is enterprise and new reference data set can also be created so we would use the seeded reference data set with common uh, which has common to share the reference data set across all books in our case uh, i'll give you an example okay so before that what can be shared on the reference data set so our application name is asset our reference data set let's say is depreciation method so what can be shared and how it can be shared so we can as have the reference data object as depreciation method and it can be assigned to one or more uh, reference data sets with common values so at some of the places the uh, common values are not allowed between the data sets uh, i'll take a use case here so the business requirement for the reference data set is the a company is headquartered in the united states and has two subsidiaries there are three corporate books and the company wants to eliminate the duplication of reference data so for example they do they want the depreciation methods to be applicable to all the uh, subsidiaries so which essentially means that if even if i have three books because it says uh, three and there are three corporate books so if i have three books i would use the reference data set as common now this comes seeded in the application all i have to do is assign the depreciation methods and etc to this uh, ref, uh, common data set the other business is for yeah perhaps you can explain for there's some people that have not had exposure previously to it so perhaps you just want to explain what a corporate book is um just so people are all level set for the terminology with fixed assets um i would explain the books in a bit of time so as of now we will just understand then book is something which is uh, uh let's just leave it there so let's just say ki there are three books okay and uh we would just leave it there we'll just say there are three books and these books what we want to do is have the depreciation methods that have to be shared in common between the three books right so when we say in common we are trying to understand here the use of reference data set so you think this reference data set would be common to all of these three books so just for That's the it. so just for the ey team a book is really a segregation of data it's really just putting your data into different things so think about it if i had three companies and i want to keep companies 1 2 and 3 data separate that's what she's talking about when she's talking about a book it's it's the segregation of the fixed asset data okay there is another case where we have a multinational company with operations in us and japan okay and it has two books and we want that the us people see only the us books uh, us depreciation methods and the japan people see only the japan depreciation methods they should not be able to see each other's depreciation methods so we define two different data sets one is the us reference data set which will have the values related only to the us and the other will be a japan data set reference data set which will have the values related to japan so when we create a book we would associate this to this particular reference data set i i would go back here if anybody has any questions we will take it up right now so 
Usha, one question to you. This is Jim here. So uh, in your next slide, which you showed the U.S. and Japan, can you just take it up to that slide? Yeah. Yeah, so here, so let's say there is one depreciation method, which is straight line depreciation, which is common standard, right? So it, can I create a U.S. reference data set, a Japan reference data set, and then one common reference set, which can be accessed by both the U.S. Corp. and the J Japan Corp. books? I uh, know. So, so there, there couldn't be a. They, they cannot be a reference of a reference data set. Uh, no, uh, what I'm trying to say is, can we bucket in the most standard depreciation methods under a common model, which could be shared across different? Uh, no, books? I, I think uh, Jim, that's what I think she's trying to say. It's not possible. So, if you create, if you assign the books to a specific reference data set, you need to have all the values within that reference data set. You can't use the common plus the reference. If you use common, then all the values would be available for them. Got it. Okay. And to piggyback on Jim's comment, can we copy an existing reference set to use to add values to? In this case, you know, the Japan example, let's say we want to use everything that's in the U.S. and then plus add a couple things specific for Japan. Can we copy an existing data set so we don't have to create it from scratch? Uh, I'm not really sure about copying, uh, Michelle. I'm not. Uh, uh, I haven't tried copying the data set. So, uh, okay, no worries. Yeah. So, Usha, the the question I think is: Is there a way for us to load values using the FBDIs? Yeah. So FBDIs. Yeah. I, uh, so there's an. Okay. So for starters, there's something called a file-based data import, where on the Excel sheet you uh, you provide the values and you load the data. Uh, there are multiple FPDIs available for different versions. will have diff different releases of Fusion. Will have different FPDIs available. Mm -hmm. So depending on what release you are, you are going to see that FPDI. Uh, so basically, through an FPDI, you can load values. Mm 